Hey, what's up guys, it's Tech Confusion, and today I'll be showing you this really neat effect that you may have seen in various music videos. It's not very hard to do, but it's super creative and unique. Let's jump right in. All right, so to start off, let's create a new composition here from our footage. Just right click the footage you want to add a drawing on and click on create comp from selection. This will make a new composition that matches all of the properties of your clip, like frame rate, resolution, and duration. All right, so in our composition here to begin, make sure you have the brushes and paint windows open since they're most likely not on by default. To enable them, go up to window and then click on both brushes and paint to open those windows. Perfect. Now in order to begin drawing on the clip, we'll need to double click on the video layer in our composition timeline. This will bring up the clip as an individual layer in our preview window. You can see that we're now editing the layer directly by the name of this tab up here. Now let's go up to our toolbar and select this brush tool right here. Once you select that, you'll be able to go over to your brush window and choose the size, feather, and style you want your brush to be. I'm just going to pick this size 13 hard round brush. Now let's go down to our paint window and here we're going to ensure the following settings are set. First, we'll want our blend mode on normal. This may change for you depending on what you're doing, but for most cases, normal will work. Next, let's make sure that the color channels are set as RGBA. And for this music video effect, we'll want our duration to be set as single frame because we'll go frame by frame and draw out a line drawing animation to get that effect. You'll see that if we set it to constant, if I draw something on my frame here, it'll stay throughout the entire clip. And if we select right on as the duration and I draw something out here, you'll see that when I play it back, it animates on in the same speed that I drew it. That's pretty cool, but that's not what we're going for today. You can also use custom and this will let you choose the duration of a drawing. So if I change this number to the right here to 15, that means anything I draw will stay on the clip for 15 frames. So let me draw this here. And then if I advance forward 15 frames, you'll see that the drawing disappears. Anyways, let's go ahead and set our duration to single frame. You can set the color of your drawing in the top right of this paint window. For this first drawing part, I'm going to do a bright neon yellow. All right, next let's find the point of our clip where we want to draw on. I'm going to start right here where he's about to touch the ground with his hand. Just begin tracing whatever object you have in your clip that you want to add the effect on. Obviously the effect you're going to do is possibly gonna be different from mine, so just follow along as best as you can. After I draw what I want on this frame of the video, I'm going to advance forward one frame at a time and keep drawing. Now the easiest way to go back and forth between frames is the page up and page down keys. If you don't have those because you're on a smaller keyboard or a laptop, holding down the function key and using the up and down arrow keys will have the same effect as page up and page down. So let's advance forward one frame and draw a little bit longer of a line here. That way it looks like it's continuing from the last frame that I drew. Then when I'm happy with this, I'll advance forward again and draw more. Just keep doing this until the effect you're trying to make looks good. I'm wanting to emphasize him touching the ground here and make it look more impactful. So now that I'm done here, I'll play it back and we'll see how it looks. This is such a creative effect and I love how it spices up this clip so much. Let's draw another one. I'm just going to find another point where I want to draw something here and I'll do it right about here. It looks like he kind of punches the air here so I'll draw this moving wave effect. So let me back up to the exact frame I want to start and for this I'll change the color to a neon blue. Then let's just start drawing the effect out here. Once again we can just keep advancing forward and drawing the effect. If you ever forget where to draw, you can always go back one frame and position your mouse where you want to draw in the next frame and then go forward and draw. Also, this effect doesn't need to be perfect because it's happening so fast, you don't need perfect lines. In fact, it kind of gives it a better effect if it's imperfect. Of course, the style is up to you. All right, let's watch this back. And that looks really good. All right, one more effect I'm going to do is have a line tracing around him as he's dancing. I'm just going to choose white as our color for our brush here and then begin right about here and begin tracing his foot. I'll start with a small line and then as I go, the line will get longer and longer and keep going around him. I'll just speed this part up because it's pretty repetitive. At this point, I'm just going to be tracing him out frame by frame and keep going until I get back around to the end. And now that we're at the end here, let's play it back and see how it looks. Very nice. I'm going to add a few more animations here just to keep it exciting throughout the whole clip. I'll be using the same method that we've used so far, so I'll speed this part up. But basically the idea here is to just take whatever movement is going on in your clip and translate that to a creative line drawing. 
This is one of those effects that it's just best to use creativity. There's not really an exact way you have to do this. Now let's watch it back all the way through. This is looking really good. And that's how you achieve that music video animated drawing and scribble effect. Anyways guys, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. I hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time guys, peace out.